It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Now this is a story of how two worlds have collided. Two beers, the same beer, but from two different generations, have come together in quite remarkably an, a, a, an unbelievable story, really. Um, now, this is a bottle of Gen Lane. This is a can of Gen Lane. One is from 1996. Quick, quick maths update, that's like 27 years old. 26, 27 years old. It's 6.5% ABV. It's a beard de guard from Brasserie. Brasserie's Duik. Lots of yeast sediment in the bottom of the bottle. Almost a rusty cap on this one. And then you have a can of Gen Lane Amber. They're both beer de guards. I should have said that. This is definitely, it says here on the front of the label, a beer de guard. 330 milliliter bottle. And this is a 7.5% ABV beer de guard. I'm pretty sure it's the same beer. Now, why is this a really interesting story then? Well, I was in a flea market, second-hand shop, antique centre, if you like, last year in 2022. And there's a lady in one of the little stalls there that was always selling like, so I bought this from her, an old plastic brains ashtray, I bought these other kind of ashtrays from her, all like a pound each. Other bits and pieces, some wooden box beers, a, a bottle of Millennium Ale, um, Celebration Ale for the Millennium, brewed in 1999, 750 milliliter bottle up there. Um, big, big glass jugs that we used to go and fill the bottle and jug bars. The pubs used to... You know, they used to have a bottle and jug part of the pub where you used to, like for take home, you used to take your big bottle or your big jug and you go and fill up and take it home. A bit like the situation of 2020 where people were filling up milk bottles of beer from their local brewery and taking it home. And then I bought some German lager, um, Spanish lagers, from, all from like 1996. And I picked up a bottle of this Gen Lane. It was only, it was three pound. Three pounds, 6.5% ABV. Thought nothing of it, left it on my shelf. I had an email off a man called Robert. Hello, Robert and your family. He said he was going to France and whilst he was in France, he wanted to buy me a load of beer, bring it home with him. He did just that. And lo and behold, can of Jen Lin, beer de guard. Within the space of a year, I got two beers, one 26-year-old, one 27-year-old beer, and a fresh one. So should we put them together? So first of all, I'm going to get open the, the really interesting bottle of Gen Lane. I mean, look at the... I'm not sure if you can see the sediment. Let me get out of the way so it doesn't focus on my face. There's so much sediment in this bottle of beer. I, I don't even know if it's drinkable, but we're about to find out. Is there a hiss? There was a, oh look, 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 it's alive. It's definitely alive. There is a hiss, there is a fizz, it is beer. I'm being very careful because there is so much sediment. I think that'll do. There is so much sediment in the bottom of that bottle. I will pour the sediment in. But I wanna... So the beer is oxidized. It's gone dark brown. That's what happens when a little bit of oxygen. I mean, there's 26. The bottle cap's been trying to hold that beer in for 26 years. It's going to get a little bit oxidized, isn't it? 
And here's the new cam. Thank you, Robert. Obviously, this beer is not oxidised. Uh, the other difference as well is the bottle of Genling, the 26-year-old bottle, is 6.5% ABV. And this can is 7.5% ABV. So somewhere along the line, the beer de garde in the can has climbed this way up another degree. Another, another degree, another, another percentage point, 7.5% ABV. Two finger white head, good levels of carbonation, amber in colour. Multi biscuity aroma. Aroma on this 6.5% ABV 27 year old beer de garde. Smells incredible. Smells incredible. Completely different beer. Loads of rich toffee notes. Biscuity, bready, nutty, raisin-like. Oh, it smells wonderful. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. little bit flat not too much in the way of carbonation other than that though you can tell that this beard has just been kind of sat there on a shelf for 26 years mm. 27 years licorice Plum, fig, prune, toffee, more toffee. Little bit of kind of burnt sugars coming through. Creme brulee. Creme brulee, that's it. When you burn the brown sugar in it with a blowtorch. Oh. Incredible. Let's hold them both up side by side. Okay, let's get in with the new, the new Genling. Obviously a lot more carbonation. It's in a can, it's a sealed product. Um, and it's fresh, of course. Be interesting if you could age a can of this for 27 years. It's a little bit thinner. It doesn't have that same mouthfeel, even though it's 7.5% ABV. And it, it really doesn't have a lot of that kind of lovely, fantastic malt quality. Um, I much prefer the old bottle, much prefer the old bottle. It's kind of, whether, whether the beer was brewed to a higher standard back in 1996, perhaps now this beer is chasing the masses. Perhaps this is chasing more of a, more of the kind of the general beer market rather than like a specialised section of people, beer geeks, who like to drink a beer, beer de garde. I think that was brewed differently. Well, it was brewed differently. It was a, it was 1% difference, wasn't it? 6.5 to 7.5. Much prefer the old Genlin. I mean, this is okay. It's a little bit thinner. Obviously more carbonated. Uh, 
and then there's a little bit of a hop quality coming through and then not much else not much else this has definitely been brewed for people who like to drink 7.5 percent abv beers you, your strong beer crowd whereas this is much more of a refined it's much more of a refined beer i'm gonna now we're gonna dump in that yeast now we're really gonna we're really have a look at this now the actual yeast suspension in this beer look at it look and we there's your carbonation look look at it it's 27 years old 27 years old and i'm rolling the beer around and yeah and look at the quality look at the quality of the beer look at that 27 years old you can see the lacing on the glass and this one brand new still a little bit of lacing going on but it's it, you know it, it's definitely not looking see the depth can you see the depth in this one where i'm swirling it around you can see the body of the beer whereas this one is kind of just flapping around on the top put the new one down let's drink the old one It's added a little bit more of a kind of a little bit of a dryness from the yeast now that I've added. A little bit more body. And it's more fruity. More of like a blackberry now. More of a blackberry mixed with loads of toffee coming through. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And this goes to show. This goes to show, doesn't it? I mean, I'd love to find an original bottle of Punk IPA. And I would love to put that Punk IPA up against today's Punk IPA. Because I think, I know that the original Punk IPA from 2007, when Brewdog started, would be far better than a new bottle of Punk IPA that sold everywhere. All these Lidls, all over the place. It just proves that when you enhance the volume of your brewery when your brewery gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until you become a huge huge mega factory you cannot hold on to that quality it's impossible to hold on to the quality i've just proved that i've just proved that with a 27 year old bottle of gen lane beer de guard versus something I mean, the brewery are bound to have grown over the last 27 years. They're bound to be a bigger entity now. Uh, so um, I'm going to rate the new one. The new beer from, oh, I'm saying the new, the, the, the recent beer de guard from Gen Lane. It's okay. I wouldn't pour it down the sink. A little bit of malt quality coming through. little bit of a hop quality but that's about it whereas this this is much more of a refined product much more of the people who brewed this 27 years ago they had much more i want to use the word care because i mean i mean it's, it's the owners of the brewery that make the decision doesn't it to whether to brew a decent beer or or water a beer down even though raise the abv it's not the actual brewer's fault it's the it's the direction of the company's fault this is incredible so um my rating for the original jet um, so my rating for the Gen Lane in the can, the new Gen Lane would be a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10. Whereas this Gen Lane from 27 years ago in the bottle. Oh. It's another level of quality. A completely different level of quality. 
it's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I hope you liked the video. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.